Hello family, welcome back to Monday Musings. My name is Eunice Kemonto and today I just want to read an ex uh, a section from my book Surviving Loss, uh, a short section that I would like to share with you, a reading from this book regarding pain and losses. So I'll begin reading. I pray that you're blessed by this. You too can experience joy. The title of this chapter is, Is This Fair? So, this is what I say in this section. You too can experience joy, hope, peace, and contentment at the master's feet. He can restore you, establish you, and strengthen you in his time. You must remember to fix your eyes on him the author and the finisher of our faith. He is in the business of healing, renewing, and strengthening his weary ones. Your troubles, pain, and losses do not have to overwhelm you. He has noticed your cries in trying to get out of that bad relationship. He has seen the poverty that you are experiencing. He has seen the dryness of your ministry. He has seen the sickness that you're battling with. He is working on something great to be birthed out of you. Don't miss your growth opportunity during your pain and loss. Don't miss what God may be doing amidst the gutters and darkness. Do not despair. I know what you're thinking right now, that I have no idea how deeply pained you are by your circumstances, by your pain and your losses. I do understand because I was in your position and nothing anybody told me made sense. But I pray that you will linger for a moment and consider this, if God moved heaven and earth to restore my marriage after being divorced for six years, if he saw me through the challenges of being a single mother for the entire six years, surely he can do the same and more for you in your situation. One thing I would like you to remember is this, he may not answer your prayers the same way he answered mine. He knows each of us, he knows how we are formed, and he knows exactly what each of our specific needs are. So he will meet you at your very point of need. One important lesson I also learned through my pain and losses is that when we refuse to learn the lesson that he wants us to learn, when we fail the test that he's putting us through, he keeps cycling us back until we pass it. Why? Because he is refining us so that at the end of it, we may be as pure as gold. Don't resist the test. Pass it with flying colors by surrendering and allowing him to fix and heal you the best he knows how. Consider Job of old. He was blameless and upright, a man who worked faithfully in the sight of God. He was always careful not to do evil to the extent that he would make sacrifices on behalf of his children just in case they sinned against God. The Lord was proud of him. And when the devil came to accuse God's children, the Lord asked Satan if he had noticed his servant job. But Satan claimed that it was because the Lord had given him wealth and good health that job, that's why Job was serving him faithfully. Over time, God allowed Satan to take away Job's wealth and touch his body, but not to take away his soul. As Satan took away one by one the possessions that Job had, as well as his children, Job remained even stronger in trusting the Lord. In fact, his wife and friends ridiculed him and asked him to cast this God who failed to protect him from calamity. Job's trust in God remained intact despite painful sores all over his body and losing all his possessions and his children. He stated in Job 23 10, he knows the way I take. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. Job 23 10, this is what Job stated. He knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. So beloved, no matter what you're going through today, no matter the pain, the losses, no matter the struggles that you are experiencing, are you going to say like Job? Are you going to have faith like that of Job? Are you going to say that he knows the way that I should take? And we, when he has tested me, may he find me faithful may he my may i come forth as gold are you going to say these words i want to encourage you to remain faithful 
Don't curse God, no matter what you are experiencing. He's right there with you. He's testing me. He's testing you. He wants to purify you like gold. I pray that you pass the test. I pray that you remain strong, no matter what you're struggling with, beloved. Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name. See these beloved ones who are experiencing all manner of struggles in their lives. May it be finances. May it be career. May it be relationships. Dear Lord, I present them to you. I present them to your able hands. Lord, may you fight their battles for them. Lord, may you give them peace that surpasses all human understanding. Lord, may you give them rest, that they may rest assured, knowing that you are fighting for them, Lord, that you're going to grant them victory. No matter what illness, no matter what situation they are going through, Lord, help them to trust in you completely. Help them to depend on you without an iota of doubt. Because, Father, you are merciful. You are faithful, even when we are not. You never lie. And when you say that you will heal us, you will strengthen us, you will establish us, indeed you will, Father. You have done it before for Job of old, and you'll do it again for each one of us. So, Jesus, we leave everything in your able hands. Strengthen us now, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for watching. This is Monday Musings. Until my next video, stay blessed.